This is a demo showing how to make a viewfinder. Viewfinders block out unnecessary information and help an artist determine how they want to organize elements in the composition. They are also useful tools for measuring. Looking through the window gives a snapshot of what the drawing may look like. They can be held far away from an object or close up, depending on how much information you plan to include. The window cut in the viewfinder must be the same proportions and orientation as the drawing paper. You will need some sort of paper material larger than 7 by 5.5 inches that is thin enough to cut through, but not so thin it will fold over if held vertically. One side must be blank. The other side doesn't matter. Cereal boxes and foam core are perfect, but mat board works well too. Other supplies include a razor blade, pencil, ruler, and a cutting mat, or more cardboard if you don't have a mat. Begin by cutting a square that measures 7 inches high and 5.5 and inches wide. You can use the ruler as a straight edge. Next, measure 2 inches from either side and draw a line. Then, measure 2 and a half inches from the top and bottom and draw a line. Now you should have a rectangle in the middle of the viewfinder. Double check your measurements. It should be 2 inches tall and 1 and a half inches wide. Using the razor blade, cut out the rectangle so you have a window. So if you like, you can stop here and have a perfectly functional viewfinder. The next steps are optional, but we'll show you how to add dental floss to create a grid, which breaks up the composition into smaller squares and makes it easier to sight. Begin by drawing a line from the top and bottom of the window to the edge of the viewfinder. Just a little tick mark is fine. Next, measure carefully and make tick marks every half inch between the lines you just drew. Do this on all four sides of the viewfinder. Then cut the tick marks only about a quarter of an inch or so. These are to keep the dental floss from sliding around. Now tear a piece of floss that is slightly longer than the viewfinder so there is a little extra to wrap around the back side. Fit the floss into the little cuts you just made. Do this for all the floss on one side. Trim any excess. Anchor the floss to the back of the viewfinder using any type of tape. You want to keep the front as empty and distraction-free as possible. Repeat this going the other direction and you will create a simple grid that can be overlaid on anything you wish to draw. This tool aids in training the eye to take measurements and is particularly handy when using sighting skills to draw linear perspective.